Not very often do we get the two biggest names from the Ferris space on one platform. And today is my lucky day then. We have Mr. Jayant Acharya as well as Mr. Narendran who are joining in. Well, uh, thanks so much, gentlemen, for coming down for uh, the program, first of all. Mr. Narendran, you go first. We just spoke a few days ago. But there's plenty of chatter that there's a bit of a slowdown out, out there in the global markets. Are you experiencing something like that because you have a large exposure to Europe? I think it's still a bit volatile out there. Even if you look at the last week, mm. you had uh, China softening last week. This week it started with iron ore prices, coal prices and steel prices going up a bit. Too early to say, mm. but I think, uh, you know, if you look at the PMI in China for services, it's going up month on month. On manufacturing, it's a bit down. So it's too early to predict, but uh, we are, I think, in for some volatility. But I think the fundamentals in some places are still quite strong. All right. Uh, what about you, Mr. Jaya? I mean, I don't want to ask you any number specific because in the next one week or so, we'll be having a chat. Results are <laughs> the border, yes. But what about, what about uh, demand uh, domestically? You know, the one bit of worry which Mr. Narendran as well mentioned mm -hmm. is exports are creeping up from China. But how do you see uh, the domestic environment? So I think the domestic in India is quite good. Mm -hmm. The CapEx uh, investments which we see by the government of India, states, the public uh, sectors and the private. Mm -hmm is probably one of the highest which we are going to see this year. Secondly, the manufacturing activity, I think overall we all feel is, is stepping up. Last year it grew at about 5% and we see a decent amount of growth coming in this year as well. Capacity utilization is up by up to 73% or so. Now if you come to China, China one thing good which has happened is that they have now declared that they would like to limit the production to calendar year 22. Mm -hmm. So what it means is that the production on a daily rate should come down to by about 5% every day, which is about 10 million tons a quarter. Right, that's the so hope at least. That's the, that's the hope, that's the announcement which they have made. So, and certain regions and certain uh, provinces have announced that already. So that's good. And I think in general, I agree that the fundamentals are good. And India typically is standing out. Okay, so that's good news of India standing out. Mr. Narendran, before we wind this down, what more would you like in terms of support from the government of India? You know, we have always, I observe, when China gets into a bit of a dizzy, then the focus comes, you know, on the, on the local government. So what more are we, are we looking at? Infra push, I think it's there. Pricing has been reasonably stable. But what else? I think, uh, yes, infra push is there. As of now, imports is not yet a big issue. But I think if it continues this way and there's a lot more steel coming in than we are used to, then certainly we'll look at uh, what is it that we need to do to make sure that the investments that the domestic uh, industry is making is not wasted. All right, and Mr. Acharya, what about uh, exports? I mean, y'all are putting up large capacity, so I'm sure you'll want a bit of a booster shot on the exports front. Comment on that. So I think I would rather say that, you know, India has today first enough manufacturing capacity to take care of the domestic demand and then look for being a big world player. So export certainly, I think, while the Indian steel industry continues to export, but I think as a country, we need to now have a look at what we need to do to contain mm -hmm. imports into the country, which are coming in because of trade flows getting diverted at a cost at times, which is hurting the domestic industry. In view of the expansions of capacity in India, I think that's an area of attention which we need to look at. Okay, all right, gentlemen, thanks so much for joining in. Well, not too often do we get JSW Steel as well as Tata Steel on the same platform. But today was our lucky day and we got comments both on the domestic industry as well as on the Chinese steel industry.